Good evening. I'm Anna Chavez. And I'm Doug Murphy here tonight for Dave McElhatton. Former employees of Wild 107, the radio station, and they say that it played it wild and loose when it came to contest on the air. They charged that management rigged it so certain people won those contests. To keep their jobs, the ex-staffers say that they had to play favorites and not just music. All right, here we go with song number 95 on the countdown tonight. Wild 107 has increased its listeners with its music, its wild antics, and its contests. But some former employees now are charging those contests were rigged, claiming the station's management wasn't concerned about Asians, African Americans, or whites, only Hispanic women, because the station was simulcast on radio station KYLZ in San Jose. Dave Lewis, who now works at a competing station in the South Bay, worked at Wild 107 until last November. For radio, we're trying to get 18 to 34 women. It's like a key demo. And so they would, you know, stoop to the level of uh, making sure that anybody that won a contest would be in that demographic. The time I was there, you know, it was common knowledge, get an 18 to 34 Hispanic woman, ideally from San Jose. I have no knowledge of that occurring. Uh, I could assure you that... Uh, during my tenure at this radio station, something like that would never happen. But Bob Visotsky has only been general manager since mid-September. His predecessor was fired, and last week, so was the program director. The station won't discuss the firings, but Visotsky claims the rigging charges are only sour grapes. What you got here is former employees making allegations against former employees. Well, I've been at this radio station for a year. I mean, uh... I did not say anything at all until this has all come out. The former employees also charged that not only were contests rigged to Hispanic women, but the callers' voices on the air had to sound Hispanic or they were in trouble. If you wanted to keep your job, you needed to go along with the program. I mean, that was something that came from the upper management. So, uh, I mean, if you didn't want to play by their rules, you weren't going to play at all. There's no pressure from this office. To, was there to... pressure from this office prior to you? I have no idea. I wasn't here. Outside the 107 studios, we happened to meet a contest winner who happened to be an Hispanic woman. She doesn't believe the charges against the station. I think it's garbage. Because when I won the first contest, I didn't have my Hispanic last name. I was married, and uh, later on, I had to call them and tell them they needed to change but the name the, on the check. But the second one, you used the Hispanic name. They don't ask you your last name until they're asking you all your information after you've won. So it's not, I don't think it's valid. The current management at Wild 107 says the station will investigate the charges of favoritism. Published reports show that so far, no complaints of rigged contest have been filed with the FCC.